How to make hard enamel pins. First, we design a pin. When we finish drawing, we input our drawing into our mold making computer and get ready for the mold. Clean the working table first. After the table is clean, make sure our blank mold is sitting tight, we can start cutting. Again, we are about to cut out some unnecessary area. Now, we have done for trimming. What we do next is heating the mold to enhance its flintiness. Cool it down, clean it, and reheat it again. By repeating this process, its flintiness can be further improved. Then, we take the mold to our punching machine. We are going to use copper for making this pin. The mold that you see right now will need to be goes through more processes. We take the mold and scan it by computer. The computer will make a specific cutter based on our mold. This cutter is made for cutting out some pins from the copper plate. We also need to trim our cutter. We quench it and cool it down for enhancing its flintiness. The cutter will be set on our machine. As we have mentioned, this cutter is cutting out pins from the copper plate. The next step is putting back clutches on these pins. We bake it to stabilize the clutches. We organize the pins piece by piece and get ready for coloring. Our technicians need to use spring needle manually coloring and we have to bake and dry the color whenever we finish in coloring Finally, we have done for coloring. The pins will be polished again by our technician manually. We tie the pins on copper wire for electroplate. First, we need to clean the pin. We rinse it with clean water before putting it into acid water for purifying through chemical reaction. Then, we rinse it over and over again. We sink it into the plating trough for copper plating and we rinse after first plating. Then we do a second plating to ensure the plating quality. While finishing plating, we need to rinse multiple times. We take the pins off, organize them piece by piece, and get ready for packing. We are GSJJD.